Growing up as a kid, uh, there was this painting in my uh, grandmother's living room. And uh, the painting was of my great-grandfather's blacksmith shop in Dresden, Ontario. Dad would tell stories about when he was a kid and he would go to the blacksmith shop. And, and uh, I thought that was just the, the neatest thing. There's a, um, a warmness to the, the forge. That's, it's, it's a little tiny piece in the painting, but it's, it's, uh, I, I would stare at that painting and wonder, you know, what, what's actually going on in there? Really what drew me to blacksmithing uh, was that I really love hitting hot steel. A blacksmith said to me many years ago, he said, uh, you know, when, if you get good at something, make sure you really like doing it because you'll end up doing a lot of it. And that tends to be what happens. You know, somebody gets into sculpture and they, they, they get good at it and they, they do a lot of sculpture type work. Somebody else gets into, I, I've sort of gravitated towards furniture and tables and railings and things like that, sort of more architectural stuff, so I enjoy doing that. So it, it, there's all different aspects of it that people get involved in. The process that I'm going to follow today in, in making this bracket is uh, I've already prepared the, the initial stock and I have cut out uh, the material that's not going to be needed, so that's, that was the first step. Um, I do that with a bandsaw, and, uh, and it's, it's now ready to go. So the next thing I do is I heat up the stock in the forge, um, bring it out of the forge once it gets to the yellow-orange uh, color that tells you uh, that it's in a uh, state ready to be uh, manipulated. I bring it out to a, uh, a bending jig that I have where I will then bend it into a U-shape. It's a, it's a piece of angle iron, and I'm going to bend it into a U-shape. And then um, once I get that uh, in the shape that I want, I will uh, weld it together so that it holds the shape that I'm looking for. Um, then what I'm doing is I'm going to be uh, uh, decorating the sides a little bit. So the first thing is uh, I, I flatten down the, the uh, angle so that it uh, will hold flat against the wall. Then I have to twist it and shape the uh, uh, the part that's going to uh, be up against the wall. And then uh, right at the end I do um, a little bit of a curl on one of the corners and try and get um, what I'm really going for is a, is a flowing uh, metal so that it flows around and it looks, like, it looks more liquidy actually than, than metallic when you're, when you're done with it. And that's, that's where sort of the artistry comes in is trying to get that manipulation to happen so that it's it really uh, comes together and, and produces something that's, that's worth looking at. And the very last stage is to uh, flatten it out. Uh, once you've got everything, uh, all the shape uh, in the way that you want it, that you need to flatten it out so it will sit flat against the wall. And uh, from there, uh, it's a matter of brushing it with a wire brush, being able to get all the scale off, because when, when you do put it in the forge, it, uh, it produces a scale. It's an oxidation on the outside of the, uh, of the metal. Uh, take a wire brush to it so that it all comes clean, and then it's ready to paint. You know, as, as this is gaining more interest, I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, possibly hiring some people. I, I've had some students that have uh, I've been able to help get started and see if they really want to uh, continue this type of thing and it's uh, the kind of thing that I love uh, sharing with people.